Good evening, folks. It's the review guy here today, and you are currently looking at my next review. Now, as y'all recall, I did do a review about a year or so ago about a Craftsman box cutter, which ended up being honestly a piece of junk. I would never recommend Craftsman anything, except maybe their I have some of their tools. They own gear wrench, so I have gear wrench tools that are made by Craftsman, but I would never recommend Craftsman tools just overall. They're Chinese, they don't last, they break. In fact, I just bought a flashlight about a week and a half ago, maybe now two weeks. Broke. Broke, farted out to stop working. Changed the batteries out of it probably yesterday. Still broke, so I just threw it away. So I really couldn't do a review on it since, you know, it never really worked to begin with. So on to this. So as you can tell, this is a Milwaukee box cutter. Now, I know from experience that these are really good box cutters and that Milwaukee's a really good brand to have. Because I have a couple other tools by Milwaukee. I have a cordless drill somewhere around here. It's a Milwaukee. And this this one here is just it's a good one. I did have it at one time. And <clears throat> the way I can prove to you that it's very sharp is if you can see that scar right there. Yep, did it last August, man. I was cutting an IKEA box, which by the way, I don't recommend you ever cutting and if you're going to cut like you know away from yourself and <laughs> towards yourself I made that stupid mistake of cutting toward me and I literally sliced my arm open had to get like a bunch of stitches and it was really bad so anyway I, I lost that one somewhere along the way it was about a year old and I lost it somewhere so about a week or so ago I picked this picked up another one because I remember it being a really good utility knife and there's all the warnings probably says somewhere on here warning don't cut towards yourself or you'll slice your arm open but we'll go ahead and open it up and I'll do a review on it okay now I gotta figure out somewhere to put you guys so I can do this without uh, messing up the video <clears throat> okay I'm just going to put you down just for a second while I open this. Maybe I can do it while I'm, yes, just for you. Oh, I just got this knife too that I'll be reviewing. I should review pretty soon here. But I literally just got it, so I'm not ready to review it. It's going to be the first time I use it, actually. And I think I'm going to use it to open this thing. So hang on just a second. Very good knife. Well, the knife is very sharp. So y'all need to look out for that review because I will do it pretty soon. Hang on just a minute. Let's get it out of the packaging here. So. And like I said, y'all are seeing this first. It's been in this box. This is the first time I'm opening it, using it, anything. Okay, got it open. Finally, it's got a blade. Yep, it does have a blade in it. Ooh. Yep, got a nice little blade. Nice and sharp. As I learned a while back. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you one thing I don't like about it. The one I used to have, if you see this little button right here that tracks it, the first one of these I had, that was like smooth, so it was a lot easier to track. Just kind of weird because I didn't think I would, I did not actually think that would be a problem, but I noticed the really small things and tools I don't like. 
or anything I would use. But, you know, it does have like a little grap nail, which I guess would be good. Hmm, okay. So, let's see here. Yeah. It's a nice, nice tool. It's got a, uh, it's like, hang on just a minute here. I'll probably be all off in that. Looks like it's got a, uh, I hope y'all can see this. Probably not. Yeah, okay. Let me get in the camera here. Now, guys, y'all gotta cut me some slack with this because I don't actually have a stand for this. And I'm working on actually getting a GoPro so I can do better videos. I'm actually using my cell phone, so bear with me. <laughs> it's hard to, like, get this to come out good, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. See if I can open that. It looks like it's a storage thing for blades and stuff. Okay, so let me see if I can show you. Here we go. If I can open it, which I don't even know how to do that. It's probably like, there we go. It's like so. Now, as you notice, there are, okay, here. I'll show you up close. There are no blades in it, no spares which is kind of like a downer because most of them usually come with at least two or three spare blades. Hmm. That kind of sucks a little bit, but I guess that's okay. At least it's got one in the uh, thing, but that's what this is for sure. This is a uh, blade storage. Now, since I know I already have some in my toolbox here, I'm gonna look for them and see what I can. Yeah, here we go. Got plenty of blades, so we'll just try that out, see how it works, if it's, if they fit good or whatnot. So like y'all said, you have seen this for the first time, I've never opened this tool. Just been sitting in my garage. Let me go ahead and put a couple blades in here and see how that works. So here it is, nothing in there. Putting the blades in. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like it holds a bunch of them too. You could probably put like eight or nine blades in here. Now well, that's a plus, because if you're ever like out and don't have any, or you're cutting big boxes or something, you're not home where you get some blades. I'm just gonna put two in for now. Later on, I'll go back and fill it up. Okay, let's open it. As I said, that's the, uh, you know, that's the blade it comes with. And this, hang on a minute, I never told you the model. I think I cut it off. My bad. Never told y'all what model this was. Hang on a second. Let me go ahead and find the plastic part that I cut off. And I can maybe tell you. Yeah, I was getting into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, still, it's a good one so far. Doesn't really say what model it is. Okay, so now the test, as y'all recall, I had with the Craftsman was taking the blade out and seeing how easily it comes out and you can put it back in. Because to me, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's a deal breaker because you got to be able to get your blade out quick, you know, and change it out. I mean, you know, it's just one of my pet peeves. I like being able to, you know, change out a blade. I have to change it out within a reasonable amount of time without too much effort put into it. So let's just see how this one does. Okay, so I'm pushing on it. Yeah, it's not really changing. It's actually almost at the stay position where you can't even get it out. Yeah, I'm supposed to do something different. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There you go. Okay, so it does come out fairly easy. But I'm going to show you what you have to do to get it out, which is kind of tricky. Putting it back in, it's probably going to be the same way as same trickiness. 
is taking it out was. But man, I tell you what, this this man these blades, these freaking box cutters, I have not had good luck with. Yeah, hell, I can't get that back in. I'm pushing the, the button and pushing it down. It won't go back in. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try it again here. So I can, if I use my other hand, because technically I'm right-handed. Okay, here we go. After, like... A lot of jamming and pushing. I think I finally got it in. I got the blade back. So here's the problem now is, is it won't shut. Well, there it goes. Man, I don't, I don't like. I'm gonna go back to this button here again. I don't like it, man. You really gotta like push on it to get it to freaking close and open. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that button. As far as being able to get the blade out, see, like now you can do it, it looks like with ease. But before, trying to push this button down was like not happening. You can see, then you have it out and you can't close it. Like literally, I couldn't close it. I was pushing down on it. And it's, well, there we go. Now it's, well, it's closing a little better now, but first, well, it wasn't. Maybe it just needs some breaking in. So I'll tell you what I'll do with it. I'll uh, use it for a while and try to break it in and do another review on it in a couple weeks. But there's the model number maybe. 48-22-1510. can probably look it up. And Home Depot is the uh, company that sells Milwaukee. I'm sure there's some independent companies, but in my area it's Home Depot. But, yep, that's about it. So, so my, my total review on this one here would be, I would definitely be giving it a better review than the Craftsman one I had. If y'all want to watch that video, it's like a few videos down a couple of years ago. That one was a piece of, sh I mean, a piece of junk. So, I'd probably definitely, I'd give this one about a, maybe a four. I'd only give it a, I wouldn't give it a five just because, you know, I don't like the freaking button that, that's there. But you have to like, you know, strain to get push up or down. And it just took me a while to get the blade in and out. So I'd give it a four. I definitely recommend it. And like I said, I'll come back in a couple of weeks and do another review on it. Well, that's all I got today. So you all have a good day till the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe.